got the Fitec fuel injection system put into the 56 Studebaker and just got it started today. Um, seems to be doing well. This is our handheld controller here. And uh, I'll go ahead and start it up and I'll take you and put you, put you under the hood here and show the setup on this. It was pretty simple, straightforward. I set my uh, uh, initial setup on to the controller here and and it, once the uh, command center filled up fuel, it started right up, started uh, into its learning curve. Haven't driven it yet, uh, but it's, it's doing a lot of the learning right here. It takes a little while for the RPM to drop down, but I just think that that's in the, in the uh, learning curve because the IAC is uh, stepper setting, staying around 6 or 7, which is supposed to be between 3 and 10. So I think we're all good. I got the RPM set at 670. So for idle, so anyway, I'll start it up here, turn that back on. You can see that idle's kind of high for just a, about 10-15 seconds and then it'll start dropping down to where it's supposed to be. Here it goes, then it drops down. I got it set at 680, it seems to be kind of in that range anyway. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll take you under the hood here real quick while it's running. Still need to clean up a little bit of the wiring, but I think it's pretty much done. Uh, put our uh, command center here. Our hose, trying to hold the light at the same time. This is our hose, that's the return hose that's going back to the tank. And uh, then we got the hose that comes up from the stock fuel pump. And then this is the hose, it's a high pressure side going into the injection unit. Our injection unit here was a real easy install. Uh, you know, putting the O2 sensor in is probably the hardest part, and that's pretty simple stuff. So. This, this went really well. Uh, sounds good. Takes a little while for it to drop back to idle again, but not too bad. Okay, don't have the radiator cap on. Started getting a little warm enough to want to spew out there. Uh, so that's that's pretty much much it. You you uh, put the O2 sensor in the exhaust and put a coolant sensor in. Run a few wires and uh, that's about it. Pretty simple. So, um, the only things that I didn't like was the command center. Uh, I did. I mean, I realize now why you have to have. Uh, this hose going back to the tank and because this is a sump has a float in it looks similar to that of a fuel sending in it and then it has uh, what appears to be a holly uh, needle and seat so it fills up with fuel gets to a certain height shuts it off so if it were to stick which needle and seats do uh, you need it so that that fuel goes back to the fuel tank and uh, that's, that's the only real thing I had about it is I wish that in the advertisements that they would tell you that. Uh, not that I wouldn't have bought it, but at least I'd have known it and said a big surprise when it comes. Uh, because they advertise you don't need a return line. And uh, that's kind of a big selling point. Um, not, so I, I don't really see the point of having these gauges here. Um, but. Yeah, there's a little bit of foo-foo stuff, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, one is for the input from the low pressure side on the on the stock fuel pump, and then this is the output on the high pressure side. Um, they give you the they they give you some fuel line, few fittings, and a pretty decent fuel filter there that goes in. And I, I put a, another fuel filter. Uh, 
metal jacketed one, my fingers out of the way, metal jacketed one uh, that's right before the fuel pump. So I got a filter coming in and coming out of the command center. Um, the the uh, setup, I've, I got a low car uh, for my, uh, my throttle pedal here. It's, it's light on here. So that was it made it pretty simple. I mean, that's what it was on this when I put put this truck together uh, and had an AFB on it. So all I had to do is take stuff off the AFB and throw over on here, do a few minor adjustments. Um, just speaking of adjustments, the only adjustment, of course, the only adjustment really that's on it that's mechanical is the idle, and I did have to back that out considerably to uh, to get my IAC down. So that stepper was sitting in that three to ten range. So, but that's that's pretty simple stuff. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I can tell it's going to run really well when I get it out on the road. I've just got a few more things I need to do before I do that, and uh, I'll keep you informed with another video.